okay it's recording i think cool so now copy this card thing i'm gonna copy uh this go to your code import it you don't need this line here actually uh you can put it in here you can wrap everything in here but i don't think it's a good way though because there's some there's there's a couple of situations you want to wrap it outside the app not inside the app right so basically you will want to wrap it here import import browser router router from react wrap it on okay now you want to wrap it up browser router then the app in here okay cool it's done with the index.js now inside the app.js you don't you want to use switch route and link right so let's say i want to display two pages the first one for the guest and the second one for the user so let's say this in a header h1 not just a div inside the div you have a uh, link here you want page one page guest this one is going to be page user right yeah. and then the content will change depending on which one you click on the first one will be um, let's say route then path equal um, guest for example guest you can use a uh, set close yeah and when if you want to render a component use this syntax here uh, I'm gonna call it um, guest or another one call this one is a user and then you want to render a user now define two components the first one is going to be get guest and the second one is going to be user cons guest equal to something then return um, let's say just an h1 tag this is guest page make a copy this one is going to be user user page all right is there anything wrong no test it Mm -hmm. all right so this is the uh, default page you will see you will see only 2p here right but if you want to go into a uh, guest route you see this little get page you want to change this one to user so this is a user page nothing new right are you with me with this syntax are you here do you understand this syntax the property component here basically you want to render this component so you use component equal to uh, like a component here yeah. all right now if you want to there's another way to render a component let's say um, render another way uh, uh, can you show again the change you might need this all right uh, you import the browser router and then you wrap your application component your app component with this higher order component okay curious uh, okay uh, I forgot to use a switch here oh my god so bad so basically you do a switch because a switch it's like it's act like the same as the switch in JavaScript it will go from top to the bottom and then it will scan check every condition if it's match the condition that it will stop executing like if else if else okay uh, now we want to make the, this P clickable so we're gonna use link 
link and then I'm gonna put here two it's different from the uh, the other I tag anchor tag in uh, HTML right that's called href but now we use two okay and then two is gonna be guess here I'm gonna copy and paste oh shit and this one user change this one to user as well okay here I will say um, in bootstrap there's a common and call link as well right remember that link is a different link it may be Napa link or something I don't remember but that's a different link it's not this link right this one is basically is an anchor tag and it's US rep equals something it's di different from this link here so basically if you want to use react router please use this link this common one. okay don't use the one that bootstrap provides All right next let's test if it works All right uh, go guest page user page good okay any question here Uh, that's one more time. <laughs> okay. Basically, uh, browser router here is a higher order component. Higher order component. You will see this term a lot in the future if you like get advanced. So basically, we wrap that the app with this component. Cool. I'm gonna close this one. I'm gonna gonna open this again. All right. All right. There's another way to render a component. Vietnam already show you how to do it. Uh, like uh, she did it like this, right? And then you can call a component in there. That's also another way. And there, there was another way uh, I refer to use render. It's a render. Inside a render, we will return a component. Uh, right let's see what happened here same thing nothing changed still work the same but this way we can pass the props inside our guest here using this way on line 17 you cannot pass prop here but this way you can pass prop here for example I want to call name equal qua and then here I can console up prop props dot name. Of course, I have to define props here. All right. Let's see what happened. Oh, you see qua on line twenty four. Right. Cool. So if you want to use props. You can pass it like it. You use render, and the inside of the render is a like we return a function. Oops, it's not my phone. It's my mother. <laughs> okay. uh, so let's change this one to the new way. Right? Again, render echo a function, then we return user. Right, test it again. User, guess still work now if we want to see the uh, the props of react router actually react router will provide us a, a special props that will contain on other information about the for example the uh, location the the path name everything so we can pass it in here like this props and then we can pass the props here props let's see let's see the, the whole prop here instead of the uh, browser name Okay, see what you have the history key property, you have the location property, you also have the mask property as well as the name qua here, right? Any question about this? These are very important. These keys, these properties. Why? How did you get the keys? <laughs> these keys are like uh, React router provide us. Like it's magic. It's actually, it's not magic, but React Router gave us some 
define these properties and they provide us these. All right. So you can use history or location to get the path name, or you can like navigate between the routes using history here. Remember, bit now or use something called uh, use param, right? Or use history. Yeah, exactly, Charles. That's why we have to use the browser router to wrap around our apps. Okay, so in the mesh here, you will see the params here. If you put the param ID, you will see the param ID. Let's say, let, let's go and have it. Um, for example, I have ID here, right? And then I'm gonna call blah, blah, blah here. Wow. We got the param. Oh shit, no. What? It should be in there. Uh, the ID. Props. Props. Dot param match. Dot param. Dot um ID. Ah, oh, that. Why the hell is that? Like that? Okay, I will look at this later. But um, originally, before we have the hooks, use param. We we use this way to find out the params. No, it's not in that HTML. It's in that JS. It's because there's no ID. Uh, there's ID here. Oh, on that one, I see. Um, uh, let's, I will find out about this later, but you can use hook. No, the, the ID, no, you put the link, you put the ID in the wrong place. So that's the link. You want to put it in the route oh, definition. Oh, shit. Yeah. Exactly. Ah, live server. So delete this one. Um, say, uh, ha, ha, ha. You should see, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, all right, ah, for, sorry, this one is wrong. Click on the guest here. You see, haha, -ha here, right? Um, yep. Now, remove the props of map.ram.id, just drop. You see, inside the props, we have a property called match. Inside of match, we have a property called params. Inside of param, we have the ID, which we defined right here. So before we have hook, we use this way to get the param out of the React router. Now we use hook, so we can use use param. It's much faster. You have to do dot 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 like this. Okay. Back to the topic. Um, we also props, and then inside here we can also pop 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 props. I remove file here. I don't want to see file here. Okay, now move on to the uh, protected route. Okay, that's very simple. Protected route is basically just a like a custom route, a custom component that we make, that we define. We can define right here. For example, I'm gonna define is um, protected route equal to props, and then we we'll return. Right. So here we have to make a decision, which one we want to render. We want to render a, a, a an authenticated component, or we want to render a not authenticated component, right? So basically, let's go with this logic, very simple logic. If the user is not authenticated, we redirect the user to the guest page here, okay? And then, if the user is already authenticated, we will show this component, this user component, right? Anyone understand what I just said? So for this, we will render user if user is authenticated. Else, we redirect user the client to guest page. Cool. Uh, we can actually do it in just one line of code. Okay, router, route, uh, yes, dot dot dot, props. <laughs> Basically, dot 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 props here, we let, let's say we take everything that passed into this 
component and then we pass it down to the derail component here right basically just that this one we simply return a, another common another route with all the properties of here okay now we want to make sure we want to see if the user is authenticated or not yeah I kind of like a copy but at the same time we pass it out to another child common right which means we are lazy we pass everything okay now instead of <laughs> Instead of just render the route here, we want to make addition. Which one we want to render? We want to render the user or we want to render the guest? Ah, yeah, it's kind of like this thing. Okay, now we need a key to make sure that keys, uh, we need a Boolean. Is it true or false? We can have another kind of like an object. For now, just go with a Boolean. All right, uh, here we want to authenticate indicated equal true no maybe false uh, actually put in here not there authenticated equal false then we will render the guest okay now we want to instead of calling the route here we want to call the rotated route here rotated route that's it and then in here we want to pass in these properties right these property all right now we'll cut this one all right same thing we change the route here only change the route to rotated route it looks weird let's see what happened actually we always see the uh, the user see user nothing happened because I, we have uh, we don't have the uh, the logic to like to filter if the user authenticated or not. So next step, we're gonna do that. If props, we have a property here called authenticated. If dot props dot authenticated, then we render this else. Return redirect. Redirect is another another common and that react router provide us let's go and find read error here okay redirect to very simple gonna copy that and use to to equal where do we want to redirect to guest Uh, yeah, it's very far short. Okay, just five minutes, I think. Right, let's see if it works. Redirect is not defined yet. Of course, we have to import it. Right, now we can test. User, see, when I click user, I'm still in the guest page. Why? Because authenticated is false. Guest, user, also guest page. If I change this one to true, I expect when I click user, I will see the user text here. Oops, oops, did it change? Oh, because it's a guess. Oh my God. Uh, pay user. No, he brought the authenticated. We return this, else, we return this. Is it correct? All right. Console log. Just console log it. Console log props. See what happened. Like 24. No. no okay. 24. 20. Actually, it's 33. 33. We have a user. We have a another props called render inside the render. What do we have? I'm ready to confuse now. Okay, I don't see the authenticated properties here for some reason. Hmm. User render props, user authenticated true props. Uh, 
but they make sure this that is correct. Let's say uh, this one is going to be props. Cancel out. So it's never fire. This one is never fire. It's cannot. Yeah. Sorry? Mm -hmm. What? Hello? If. Say if. Console up. Wow. No, I don't see it. So this one's. Can anyone help me? I'm stuck here for some reason. Mm. If return this, I'll return it. Okay. Oh, there's low chunk here. Give me records on 35 for... Mm. I don't want to do it, but Loy asked me, so do it. Same thing. Props. We'll tactic round. That's where it worked just before I did it. Uh, we're going to guess round. Hmm. If else. Uh, basically, if you have one line here, you don't need to use the uh, traces. So the problem here is that we don't see the props. Wait, it's just, uh, maybe I change the route here or something. Guess and then use it. Let's move on these. Uh, guess. Oh, shit. Mm. Okay. Nothing. The authentication outside the render is in it outside the render. Oh shit! Yes, exactly. Nice. Ha ha ha! Correct. Oh, basically, we pass the authenticated into the props here. Yay! Ten thousand. Exactly. Yes. So. You understand that, right? By making mistakes like me, you understand how to pass props, how the props work. So silly me. Now you can like uh, make this one much shorter by doing this. Delete this line, delete this, delete this, delete this, delete, this, delete, this, delete. If this, you return this. Else, you return everything in here. Uh, that's basically it. Still work. Right. Okay. Question. Again. Basically, we make a custom component, and inside that, we pass on the key on the properties that we want. For some, the path, the render, as well as the. Uh, the authenticated properties here to check if that user is authenticated or not. If I change this one to false, I should not see the user page yet, exactly. See? If I change this one to true, I should see it. All right, so now you can pass the, uh, the, uh, the value. Instead of hard coding in true or false, we can pass a value here. Any questions? You may ask what the hell is props and what the hell is dot 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 props. Now the props, you can see the props here. You pass the prop from the React router into, uh, hang on, I will, I will answer Loy. He, he sent me a private message. <laughs> um, we pass from the browser router here. The browser router here. The props here is from the browser router. It passes to app, and then app will pass into on other component here. So by basically, this prop is magic. 
my convince like 33 of your is a bit there uh, 33 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, how what Lloyd said to me. To me. Oops. Lloyd said that he's he doesn't like he doesn't like how I write the code here. Yeah, so you can hit enter here if you want it to make it short. Still work. If Lo is complaining about the uh, the length of the line, you can uh, type like this. Or you want to make it as clear as possible, you can do return just like how I did before. If return else, you return this same thing. All right. Any question? Now, instead of using props.match.param.id, now let's say, uh, let's try with uh, use param here, right? Use param is defined, but never use, it doesn't throw any complaints. So I'm sure that I use, uh, import it correctly. Uh, cons id equal to use param. console of ID and let's say this one is going to be match.params.id if we do it correctly we should see these two lines at the same value 25 yes yes because we don't have the ID here <laughs> now what if we put the ID in here ID and then we have some ID there Ha ha ha, we should see ha ha. Both lines have ha ha. Correct. Okay. Any questions? Mm, any questions? So before you, uh, yeah, use what I'm inside uh, a hook that's just invented uh, last year. So before that, people would use props or match or params or ID. All right. Any other questions before I close? Can you show me the hook way again? <laughs> it's right here. Just import the uh, use params and then call it uh, line 28 here. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? Uh, if there's no question, I'm going to close this one. Bye bye.